I can. I do apologize, my friends. I've just got this crazy test on Monday, as you do. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So, I uh, asked for four questions on my uh, two-year anniversary video. So, let's get straight into it. Too Cool Wacky asks, What is your favourite game ever that you played? I will probably pick for that. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. If you've been following this channel for a while, you would uh, probably have guessed that. It is oh, just such a fantastic game and uh, it really um, engaged me and uh, got me into um, gaming as a form of entertainment and as a fond place in my heart. Next question, because I haven't written it out, I'm just going to flick through the comments. Okay. Toby Curlis asks, what are your goals after A-levels uh, with regards to both university and post-uni? Uni being university. Um, very, very good question, one that I struggled to answer um, when asking it myself. Um, so, oh yeah, after, so after A-levels, um, university, um, do marketing, uh, fingers crossed, um, afterwards, um, well, my course has a year in industry, so in my third year, I spend a year working for a company. What I want to do, I really want to do this, um, this is something that I've really, um, warmed to and really fell in love with and ideally I want to continue to grow YouTube and I want YouTube to be at the centre of what I do and hopefully um, in a few years that is a possibility but I cannot guarantee it and if not I will have to find conventional work. Uh, good question. Will you be doing another beer review? That I will be, um, I think next week when I uh, announce the giveaway results for the um, Art of Stone Witcher expansion giveaway, I will uh, be doing a review of a cider, um, a recorder lick is the cider, so yeah, coming soon, I know, it, uh, the first one got Overall, it was a very uh, positive response, which I'm very thankful for. But it was interesting seeing uh, you guys split uh, between what you, your personal views are on alcohol. Uh, the uh, albino duckling, he asks, uh, more Minecraft Let's Plays. Um, yeah, I've kind of been neglecting that series a little bit. The reason is, I've sort of fell out of love with uh, Minecraft. I'm not that drawn to it, and um, in honesty, they don't. The videos themselves don't get as many views compared to um, sort of other sort of videos I do. So I it, it, it's secondary to them. But hopefully, maybe uh, in the future we can get back to doing them. Um, a good friend called Matthew Vasquez, 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 I'm probably murdering the uh, surname, he asks, are you a supporter of Daenerys, Stannis or Dommen in Game of Thrones? Right. Ooh, big fan of Game of Thrones, it's a really, really excellent fantasy series. I feel inclined to stay um, Daenerys. Um, I think Daenerys Targaryen definitely has a big following behind her. Uh, she does have a legitimate claim to the throne. But then Dolman, you kind of think he could grow up to be quite a nice guy. But the Lannisters, Bar Tyrion and probably Jaime have a history of being uh, pretty um, dicky. Um, I don't think Stannis are the, the Baratheons well. I liked Robert Baratheon just 
because he was quite a juggly character. Uh, Scoot1512 uh, Gaming, he asks, can you make a Twitch account? Yeah, Twitch is something I've wanted to look into. Currently, my setup it will be, uh, well, it seems really complicated to do. Um, but that might be cool. Streaming and live streaming is something I think we should look into. Um, yeah, so let me know. Uh, Regus Edge, um, he goes, happy anniversary. Easily my, oh, that's very good. Easily my favourite channel. Um, he has two questions. He goes, one, what are your top five games? And two, why do you support Arsenal, uh, the football team? Top five, uh, games. Okay, let's do this. Just rattle them off. Okay. Ocarina of Time, Super Mario Sunshine, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the first one. Um, Luigi's Mansion and Mario Party 4. Um, most of those, oh no, instead of Mario Party 4, let's throw in uh, Gears of War, the series. Do I support Arsenal? Um, Basically, because I never really, I don't, I'm not really drawn to a football team and like sort of like really support them as I really get behind them. I don't really get that emotionally attached. Um, I enjoy the way they play football. I think they play a good game, and so yeah, I sort of support them, and my dad supports them as well. So that helps uh, to stop the fighting. Okay, uh, beat. Uh, TNGHT, maybe tonight, beat tonight. If you had to either go a month without your phone or a month without uploading, which would it be and why? Straight away, I would rather go a month without my phone just because I can do a lot of what I do on my phone, um, on my computer, my laptop. Uh, whereas the damage I think I would uh, do on myself by not uploading for a month would be um, quite severe, you know, not uploading the channel would yeah, really stagnate in the cool nosedive. Um, so yeah, um, I think I could, it would be a struggle, don't get me wrong, I would not be comfortable with not having my phone for a whole month, but it's definitely at the lesser of two evils. Daniel Brown asks, do you have a favourite song or band? Um, my favourite song, that's really difficult, it'll probably be an Eminem song just because um, they're the tunes of my youth. Um, Lose Yourself is a great anthem or um, Gold by Spandau, Spandau Ballet or Material Girl by Madonna. Oh my god, they are really strange choices but they are really good songs. Um, Chase Biscuit, he asks, one, will you get a PS4? Hopefully soon, I really would like one, because there are a lot of exclusives I want to play on there. Two, what's your favourite console? And what's your favourite game on that console? Gonna have to pick the Nintendo GameCube, such a quirky and characterful console. Favourite game on that? Oh, Mario Sunshine, Ocarina of Time. What keyboard, computer, camera, mic, and headphones do you use? Well, that's a lot. I've not, I just use the uh, laptops, inbuilt um, keyboard, uh, computer. I use uh, an MSI. I'm not quite sure. I uh, use a GE. Um, that's some numbers. I'm not quite sure the specific model. Camera. I use a Panasonic HCV770. Microphone. I use a Zoom H2N. And headphones, I use uh, the V-Mode um, 100. Optic Pancakes asks, do you like musicals? Um, yeah, I do. I um, wouldn't say I'm a huge fan, but I do enjoy the odd musical, um, high school musical. Um, I think that really touched me emotionally and prepared me for uh, high school. <laughs> uh, Grease is a great musical Airspray, really enjoyed There are some really old ones I should Go back and watch, like Fiddler on the Roof Is apparently superb 
and um, the sound of uh, music is also a uh, very good musical. Skins, 
which is a great series which sort of focuses on each each every couple of seasons it has a group of kids going through uh, go, um, sort of uh, the British version of college and it's really cool just seeing how they play the different perspectives it's really really great it's on Netflix Austin Hartley asks do you worry that as your life moves on at pace you will struggle to maintain your channel or are you dead set on continuous growth and content production well yeah I suppose I am worried that, uh, about life moving on at quite a pace um, it's uh, definitely a concern about the channel it's definitely something I think about and want to uh, maintain and make sure it's protected I am set on continuous growth and content production, yeah, so don't get me wrong, that is at the forefront and uh, making sure content goes up. Um, hopefully that puts both you and I at ease. Uh, 007 Wimpy asks, have you seen Dexter? Um, no, I haven't. I've heard it's quite good, so I need to check that out. That is on uh, Netflix. And it also asks, are you a fan of reading? And if so, what books do you read? Oh, a variety of books currently. I'm reading Plato, which is uh, really great. And I think I'm currently reading Fido, um, uh, which is sort of like looks at the soul, which is very interesting. Danielle Agostiniani asks, what do you think of uh, Spain? His country, his or her country? Um, yes, I, I don't have any sort of uh, personal political, um, uh, sort of strong opinions towards Spain. I think it's a very nice, uh, sunny country. I like going there on holiday. Uh, it's, it's a pretty chilled out place and uh, got very nice culture. So, yeah, thumbs up for Spain. Uh, Ick of Tiger asks, will you ever make body pillow merc? Merchandise, I don't think I will know. I'll have to check what a body pillow is, although I can imagine. And number two, marry me. Okay, I guess we're engaged. Um, at the Whisper Kid asks, if you didn't make an ASMR gaming channel, what else would you have picked? Well, I've tried, I've dabbled in other, I've dabbled in making action videos. And I've dabbled in making normal gaming videos. Um, so if I didn't really sort of uh, get into ASMR and uh, didn't, if it didn't take off, probably nothing. Which is a sh uh, shame, really. Um, Crystal Lim asks, what is your favourite subject in school? Um, history or philosophy and ethics? Do you have any pets? I have two dogs. Um, named uh, Button and Smudge, they are spaniels. Um, okay. So I, I don't want to say, I want to basically answer as many people's questions as possible. Okay. Okay, uh, Melvinator asks, um, and Patch asks, um, basically what results did you get in your GCSEs and A-levels? Um, so I sat my GCSEs a couple years ago, very fortunate, um, I came up with three A stars, five A's, a B and a C. I got the C in French, which was a bit of a blow because I quite liked French and thought I could speak it, but evidently not. And my AS levels last year, um, two A's and two B's, so hopefully we can um, consolidate that in the A2s. How many exams do you have this summer? Asked by Jack Cooper. I have five papers to sit. Uh, da Al Masri asks, do you ever get tingles from your own videos? Uh, no, to be honest, I, I, it'd be pretty cool if you could get, uh, if people uh, do get tingles from their own content. It's basically a self-fulfillment, really. Uh, LJR5150. Can you do any accents? No, I'm like seriously poor at accents. Like really, really bad at accents. I can't even do all the stereotypical ones. Um, okay. Extreme uh, Renerich asks, do you play an instrument? Um, I used to play guitar. I did a 
lessons for a few years, but no, I've never been uh, really been taken by an instrument. I, I do like singing. I sing in uh, the choir, uh, which is really, well, it's quite fun. I do enjoy a good hymn, or tunes as we call them. I do like theatre, yes. I uh, often go around the New Year period uh, to see a production. The Royal Raider asks, will you be doing any more eating ASMR videos? Uh, hopefully soon, yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, when will Minecraft be back? Uh, Guy called Trip asks, do you get a lot of hate comments? Um, well, I'm very pleased to say that they're in the vast proportion. You guys write very lovely comments and are very supportive. Um, which is one of the beautiful things about this community and all of you guys. So, thankfully, we can say no. Um, Chloe Hawkswell asks, Would you consider doing reading videos? Whether that means your video game based books or philosophy. Also, a philosophy podcast. Okay. Um, yeah, I could do some more reading videos. I've done a couple past they were relatively well received so we could have a look back at that and see what we can do ah oh, zach b how are you my friend he goes what's your favorite thing to do after school um to put it simply hold on i'm just moving my leg uh, that's not what i like to do after school um probably um, i don't know get um have a you know glass of water have a nap Probably, I usually watch an ASMR video because I get home at 4 o'clock and my dinner is around 6 past 6, so what I do, I nap between like half 4 and quarter 6, I just run an ASMR video, Ooh, fall asleep. Um, uh, Brookers asks, what did you take for your GCSEs? I think there's a lot of you guys are coming up to your examinations like, Myself, so best of luck, guys. What did I take? I took history, uh, triple sciences, so um, as uh, physics, biology, and chemistry. Uh, what else did I take? Uh, classical civilization, and I can't remember what else. Carmelly, I know, asks one, how tall are you? I am five, uh, five foot eleven. Do I have any hobbies? Well, playing games and uh, taking names. Uh, no, playing, yeah, reading, playing video games and obviously YouTube. Um, uh, and what is your, who is your favourite Esma artist? Oh, it's really difficult. Uh, creatively and inspirationally, probably a bit more rift, but in terms of how many people, uh, the people I turn to to go to sleep, uh, probably um, Whisper Lily or Lily Whispers. I never get it the right way around. A very fantastic whispering voice. Yasmo, um, yes, ah, uh, no, answer that. Stace Yates asks, what would be your ideal holiday destination? <sighs> Tokyo. I would really love to go to Japan. I've I heard, um, awfully recently had a very powerful earthquake. So I, if any of you are from Japan, I hope you're, uh, you're okay. Um, so you have all crazy to think you're from Japan and watching this. But yeah, um, hopefully that place recovers. It was hit, obviously, pretty hard in 2011 with the earthquake and tsunami. So hopefully that recovers. But it's got a very beautiful countryside. AJ Ronfola asks, what made you interested in doing a YouTube channel? Uh, well, basically, um, I've always enjoyed making uh, videos. Uh, whatever type, and as soon as I go into ASMR, I knew I wanted to uh, have a crack at the whip. And I've never looked back. GGA fan 97 asks, are you going to do another Sip with Rift collaboration? Um, yeah, I think we're both up for it. It's just uh, aligning schedules and I think we're both going on our very own different paths. But hopefully we can uh, converge and uh, do another one. Uh, Landon Dewitt asks, what was your childhood like and what inspired you to do 
ASMR and what did all your family and friends think of you doing it? What was my childhood like? Um, yeah, very, um, very enjoyable. I went to a very nice uh, just local village school and um, made some really, really great friends. Uh, what do my parents and family think of me doing ASMR? They're pretty cool with it. None of them really get it. Oh, well, not they don't. They don't not get it. They don't uh, watch it or experience it. So it's it's cool, but they they're very supportive. Captain Cool asks, "What is your favourite trigger? Um, whispering and breathing sounds. A cl close up whispering is something I particularly enjoy. And if you're stuck on a desert island." Which S marches would you want with you? So yeah, basically my favourites. Uh, so if I'm on Rift, etc. So they can put me to sleep. Okay. Okay, let's, let's try to find uh, a new question. Uh, Josh Wyness asks, what is your favourite food? Um, feel bad for saying this, but probably burgers. I'm a fan of a really nice gourmet burger. Uh, Finley Smith asks, will you be opening a a P.O. box anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I know a few of you have been wanting to get in contact because a lot of you are very arti artistic and uh, want to send me some of your art, which I'm very humbled by. So yeah, hopefully um, we can get one open very soon. I'm looking into that. The Real Adam asks, what sports do you play? Uh, football and tennis mainly. Nathan Owen asks, who is your favourite subscriber? Well, you, clearly. Uh, Moon's Trippy, what's your favourite animal? Uh, panda, koala bear, or hedgehog? I don't know, uh, another person asked, uh, the same guy asked, do you have a girlfriend? No, I do not. Uh, the Lonely Truth. Um... Uh, bottomly asks where do you plan to be in terms of subscribers this time next year so where are we April um, we're very fortunate to be on 18,000 um, I suppose in a year maybe 50,000 uh, that's probably quite optimistic but yeah work towards 50,000 that would be pretty insane Spencer S one two three four five six seven eight nine ten asks where in Europe do you live? Uh, I live in the UK, England. And he also asks what are your thoughts on where you live and the United States? Um, I quite enjoy where I live. I cannot really compare it to anything else. The United States, I think it's a very diverse country. Um, I couldn't personally live there. Um, it's just not for me, but. It's very nice to visit and it's pretty cool. Uh, Jerry Fry asks, what do I name my hedgehog when I get it? I think the answer is obviously Sonic. I don't think there is much to debate there. Sonic the hedgehog. Um, okay, it could be. Ninja Slender asks, if you could have two of any superpowers, which two would you pick? Um, Invisibility and super, yeah, immense strength. Uh, okay. I'm easy. Asks, do you have a plan on making another channel outside? Oh, dedicated to gaming. Um, a couple. I got a couple questions like this about um, basically starting more channels. I don't think I'll ever start one completely dedicated to gaming. Um, I've pondered with the idea of in the future having a sort of a vlogging channel um, but this is something that has always been interesting but it's always on the back burner because I struggle enough as it is as you guys know I'm quite infrequent I know that annoys you guys so I, this is the main priority but in the future well that's where we could um, look at okay uh, scrubbly asks um oh hey man uh, would you ever do a fan meetup <laughs> well first of all the no 
explosion that there are fans that would like to meet me um, is insane. I don't, I can't imagine that really. Um, it'd be very difficult to, obviously I would love to, I love to, I love chatting to you guys and so meeting you guys in person would be insane. It'd just be very difficult to do. Okay. Sam Johnson asks, what are your favourite clothing brands? Um, I wear a lot of Jack Wills, um, but I'm not too heavily into brands like, like where I, um, I shop quite, uh, for shirts and stuff at m and Marks and Spencers. I quite, I do enjoy wearing smart apparel, so I'm often walking around in a shirt and, um, uh, jeans and a blazer. Let's play and swing out.